Um, <coughs> we have a Muslims today have a mindset that everything is going okay. Mashallah, Alhamdulillah, everything is fine. Allah will take care of us, and Inshallah, everything will be fine. And then we go back to sleep. We go to eat biryani. We go back to our air-conditioned bedroom and we sleep. And it's not going to prove you unless you wake up and you do the hard work. And then Allah will come and help you. If you dump everything for, to Allah to take you and uh, as a child and uh, start teaching you how to walk, it's not going to work. And this is the condition, this is why the condition of Muslims today. Uh, and I will read a hadith from um, from my book. It's uh, right here in the preface. And that this is the main reason I wrote the book. And I will, I will quote Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The people will soon summon one another to attack you in the same way as for, for folks who are eating invite others to share their food. Like if we are sitting and eating food and somebody is passing by, uh, we invite him, come on brother, join us, eat the food. And today, other Muslim nations, we are gay, getting beat up all over uh, the world. And then uh, in, in uh, May, May, Myanmar, in Bangladesh, in India, in Kashmir, in Palestine, everywhere, and then uh, it's so easy, everybody is getting up and beating us like we have no value, nothing. Our, our girls, Muslim girls are being raped right in the middle of the stew. Hindu uh, goons were raping Muslim girls, dragging them in the middle of the street and raping them and then burning them alive in Myanmar. Uh, people from South Florida has visited the refugee camp in Bangladesh where refugees from Myanmar went and they interviewed them face to face and they told me what happened to them and it's part of in my book. But the, 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 you have to get up and change your mindset. Allah is not going to help you unless you start working hard and help yourself. So basically, basically you're saying that um you know, Allah has blessed us. Allah has blessed us with the Quran, with Islam, and um, all the bounties and the favors in life. But unfortunately, what has happened is that uh, Muslims themselves, or most Muslims, generally speaking, do not take up the opportunity that Islam has blessed us with the dynamism, the knowledge, the, you know, all the different, uh, the nine years that Islam has blessed us with. We do not make that effort. And because of that, we fall in some of the problems that we face in the world nowadays. Yes, sir, exactly. That's what uh, you put it in a well, nice perspective, perspective. And this is what I want to say. And uh, we have to, that's the reason I wrote this book. This book is very short. And believe me, there are three chapters I have to take out. They were so horrible crimes done by Muslims to other Muslims that I can, I, I was ashamed to read it in my own writing. So I took out the three articles. So go through this book and see what Muslims are doing to other Muslims and what Muslims are doing themselves. We are, we have to blame ourselves. We have uh, come up with something, blame Jews, blame Israel, blame America for our shortcomings. No, we are to blame ourselves and we have to start uh, taking the blame and find where is the problem and start fixing it.